So there was a lot of chat around uh, incorporating the JS GME utility uh, with the project. So we finally got that together. And in the future, as we move forward, we'll start to package things so that they can be used with the uh, GME utility. So you can just kind of set things up a little bit easier and have a little bit more flexibility to add what you want, uh, kind of when you want. So on the project site, you'll see this new page will be here. There'll be links in, in here for the download. So the, the base utility file, uh, let's set that one up first. And I already have it here. But you want to go into your emulator directory. And I already have the JME one, so let's uh, extract this folder. And this is going to be to set up the, the base mod uh, for the game. So let me actually split this out. Let's uh, make life easier. So my, um, my resurrected uh, emulator directory sits here. So there's nothing in here as far as mods or anything. So we're going to extract this. We're going to copy this into here, into the main directory. Move or copy, it's up to you. Uh, once it's been copied into the main directory, just launch it. Um, you'll see the, the welcome, and then it's going to create this mod folder. You can change it if you wanted to, but I don't recommend. We're going to be using this directory, so just click OK. Uh, it'll open up the emulator for us here. Um, I'm going to close it, and then you'll see this mods directory was created inside of our emulator directory. So I'm going to go up one here. I'm going to delete that because I don't need that folder anymore. Um, and then core mods, I'm going to extract and do this one next. Alright, so we'll go into this one. Um, there's a README included, so take a look at it. There's uh, a little instructions on how to do it and some more details around what's included. Uh, but the core mods folder, I'm going to open this up. Now these are all the GME package mods, so what you'll do is you'll just take all of these and you can copy or move them. I'll just move them into this mods directory in uh, that new folder that was created. Okay, so that's done. So those are all there now. We can get rid of that folder. Uh, the SEC National Championship game that was recreated, uh, this is going to be a fun one for everybody. This includes a roster file um, as well as the mod uh, that you'll need for it. So what we'll do is we'll extract that one, we'll open that folder. Uh, we're going to take this entire SEC folder here and we're just going to move this or copy it uh, into the mods directory. Okay, so that's loaded. And then again, in the readme we'll tell you what you, you give you some uh, information on how to do what you're looking to do. Uh, so now we have that. I'm going to take and I'm going to create a shortcut to my desktop. So I'm going to copy this to my desktop, create a shortcut. I'm just going to re rename it to mods. Um, it looks like I already have one there. Uh, yeah, make it two then. That's fine. All right. So we can launch this now. So we'll launch the GME utility and we'll see that we have, um, you know, the same ones that were offered with the simple scripts. They're just here now. So if you wanted to load a particular texture, you can select what you want, move it over here, uh, turn player indicator off. Um, you have to look at this one. You might want to still use the script because we didn't actually disable it um, to default in 1.5. So that'll happen with 1.6 release when that gets out there. But um, that one you might want to just use the script still or take a look at it because I believe the 1.5 YAML has it disabled by default. But in any case, that's how you enable uh, and disable. But for the SEC one, let me just move this over here so that's enabled. And then the included roster file. So you're going to want to go into your emulator directory. Um, let's see, and we want to run the MyMC utility, and make sure that you're pointed into this memory cards directory inside your emulator, um, and then just open up the one that you want. I'm going to open up this one. I already put it on here, but let me go ahead and delete that, because what you'll do is you'll come in here, and then you'll want to pick this roster folder that was in the included um, zip, and then just import, and I think I'm already there, just import this college roster. Um, this is only going to really be useful and used with the college uh, demo game that we did with Alabama versus Georgia. Beyond that, the roster is kind of useless, uh, so it's just specifically for that. And then if we launch now that we have, uh, let me disable this here. So let me just launch my 2K5 normal. Right, so we see that our, our base is uh, nothing really to be or change. So what I'm going to do is I am going to load the SEC one, which will probably be fun for everybody to jump into. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to F10, which is going to cycle the plugin, and go back, and you'll see. Okay, so it's loaded. I know it's loaded. You'll know it's loaded because you'll see this um, this main screen. I just have to do that, otherwise I can't even hear myself. So um, what we'll do is because we have this one loaded for the college one, we'll want to go into options, uh, load, save. We're going to load. We're going to load that college roster file that we put in here, which is here. We'll load it up. 
Okay, we'll back out, go to features, just take a peek in roster manager, team rosters. Let's go over to, I use the Chiefs and the Colts uh, for the two teams. So uh, those are the two rosters and let's get out of there. Looks like it's good there and quick game. So you, when you play this matchup for the SEC mod, um, you're only going to really focus on using either Chiefs or the Colts. Um, this includes the fonts as well. So when you get into the game, you might have to do that little trick. Uh, to kind of cycle the plugin to get the fonts to show properly. I think uh, Kudrow Manny put out a really good video on that too. Um, but when you do this matchup, you're always going to want to make sure um, that you are playing in the RCA Dome because that's the only stadium uh, that, I re that I tweaked specifically for this game. So it's pretty cool. Hopefully everyone enjoys it. Um, this is really all there is to it. Uh, to get set up and get going and again you can enable and disable mods and I think uh, moving forward um, we're going to probably look to make and incorporate a lot more uh, into this utility because it will give us a little more flexibility with um, trying to find a way around the um, shared textures and I can just give you a peek at my other one, my main one. Uh, there is a lot of the uniform uh, work that uh, Cujo has put into play is being incorporated so that's going to be coming soon too but um, this was just quickly the run through and show you how to set up the GME utility um, and get everything set up. So hopefully in the future we'll have some more stuff to share with this that you can use to swap textures and um, spread the word. Keep having fun with 2K5 and uh, we'll leave this off with a couple of, uh, couple of gameplay highlights that I played a few plays in this series. So take care everybody. We'll catch you next time. Bennett gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's cut for the score.